Hello, what's happening? So last night I watched Autopsy of Jane Doe. It's a brilliant film. Um, definitely you should see it if you're into real horror. I know that's kind of like a dickhead thing to say, but a lot of movies these days just rely on jump scares, um, and this doesn't really that much. It's got a really good feel of tension throughout the film, and I really enjoyed it from start to finish. So that's my recommendation of the film. This is kind of more just a scripted thing of my thoughts on the movie. So spoilers ahead, don't ruin it for yourself, it's a good film. Throughout the film as they're doing the autopsy on Jane, they see from the outside that she's perfectly fine. It's only when they open her up that they can see the scarring, the damage that's done on the inside, and there's a lot of fucked up things that are wrong with her. This kind of works as a theme for me and almost a metaphor for the entire movie. If you look at the start of the film, there's a house, it looks fine on the outside, it's only when you get inside that you realise, oh shit, this place is completely messed up, something bad went on in here. And this theme carries on throughout the film and is a big metaphor of what the plot's actually about. Everything from the outside looks fine, it's only once you get inside that it's all fucking messed up. A lot of people have theorised that the sun in the film is actually just imagining the entire thing and he's using this as an excuse for why he's murdered people. Whilst that kind of makes sense, he seems fine from the outside but inside he's messed up. I don't actually believe that's the proper meaning of the film. Ever since I played Silent Hill 2, whenever someone mentions depression or stuff like that, I, I kind of get the metaphor in my head and the conclusion of what that game was and that sort of appeared in my head towards the end of this. So basically we find out at one point that Brian Cox's wife suffered from depression. Couldn't tell from the outside but inside she was really depressed to the point that she killed herself. Again with the whole appearing fine on the outside, messed up inside metaphor that the, the film has. I actually believe that Jane Doe is a physical manifestation of Brian Cox's wife and all the suffering and depression that she had and all the guilt that he now has from not realising that and her taking her own life. And there's a couple of little hints throughout the film that point towards this theory. Throughout the film whenever something bad's gonna happen this song let the sunshine in plays and we hear brian cox say that his wife was nicknamed ray by him because she was like some some sunshine we also find out that she killed herself and that she seemed fine from the outside he couldn't tell and it was only after she committed suicide that he realized something was wrong and throughout the film whatever they do at jane doe however messed up inside she is she never once responds to them or fights back or shows any real sign of it in herself. Which is what Brian Cox also describes his wife was like. She was fine on the outside and no one could see that anything was wrong until she committed suicide and they got closer. Which kind of works as a metaphor for the film. So it is this constant repetition and I don't see why else they would put this in if they didn't really mean to kind of highlight yet yeah, there was something wrong with his wife and this is the guilt that's built up and then at the end he, he kind of sacrifices himself which is unwarranted because it doesn't do anything to help his son and his son still dies which sort of works as the guilt that he feels he blames himself constantly and the blame led to absolutely nothing the sacrifice is in order to restore Jane Doe to what she was intact and fine which he should have done with his wife it's kind of hard to explain exactly what i mean but i do feel that she is the physical embodiment of something seeming fine from the outside being messed up on the inside like his wife they hear the song sunshine throughout the film the wife was nicknamed ray so i think she is actually the physical manifestation of his wife and the guilt that he feels Anyway, that's kind of my theory on it. It'd be great to hear what your theory was on it. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe I blew your mind. I doubt it because I'm an idiot though. 
Comment below if you've seen the movie. If you haven't, make sure you do. Check out the rest of my reviews at definition.co.uk. And I'll see you later, son. Peace!